number six, Kata Louise Ashtar of Davao del Sur. And your question will come from Judge Miss Nina Campos. Good evening. So my question is, if you are given the chance to write to anyone in this country and share with that person your message on financial liter literacy, who will that person be and what will your message be? Thank you, Ms. Nina. I will repeat her question. If you are given the chance to write to anyone in this country and share with that person your message on financial literacy, who will that person be and what will your message be? Thank you. If I were given the chance to write a letter to someone about financial literacy, I would write to the president and I will tell him that financial literacy should be included in our education. Because in our education, it is not just math, it is not just science, and it is not just English that is important. I believe that the youth should know how to handle their finances because it is pro very important for them to not only know about life, but also and know about their finances. Thank you so much. Let's call on our second finalist, candidate number seven, Alia Rodilla of Albany. Candidate number one. Okay, candidate number one, your question will come from Judge Miss Kaylin Trejano. Hello and good evening, Miss Albany. You look so gorgeous tonight. Congratulations. So my question is, what advice on financial literacy would you give to your parents? Again, what advice on financial literacy would you give to your parents? So Aliyah, what advice on financial literacy would you give to your parents? It would be to prioritize what is really important and to save for the future. As you all know, I'm not an only child. I have two younger brothers, and so I think it would be very important to know where to put their money into. In that, we could create a life which is sustainable and would somehow help other people because if we have savings, we could also disseminate the knowledge to our relatives. So I do believe that once you know how to manage your money, you can easily distribute this knowledge to other people. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our second finalist candidate number one, Maria Rodilla. Let's call on our third grand finalist, candidate number eight, Jasmine Oman from Surigao del Sur. Your question will come from Judge Miss Maureen Monte. Hi, Jasmine. Your question tonight is being in pageantry now requires a significant amount of investment. Aside from the prize money, what other ROI, return on investment, are you looking forward to winning in case you are crowned the next Miss Cosmo World Philippines? So, Jasmine, I'll repeat Maureen's question. Being in pageantry now requires a significant amount of investment. Aside from the prize money, what other return of investment are you looking forward to winning just in case you are crowned Miss Cosmo World Philippines? If I ever, if I ever get to win Miss Cosmo World Philippines, when it comes to the amount of money that we use in pageantry alone is very much expensive. However, I do believe that an investment should not be expected right away, whether you win or you lose. Because for me, an investment takes a great long time in order for it to come back to you with good results. And I do believe if I ever win Miss Cosmo World Philippines, I would be expecting to know more of who I am. And that's actually one thing I figured out tonight. Thank you very much. Once again, Sally Jasmine Oman, candidate number eight. Let's move on to our fourth finalist, candidate number 12, 
All right, in a song, Madonna says that most women are material girls. Another song is saying, Diamonds are girls' best friend. Given the image of the materialism attributed to women, do you believe women are effective influencers for financial literacy? So I will repeat your question. In a song, Madonna says that most women are material girls. Another song says, Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Given the image of materialism attributed to women, do you believe women are effective influencers for financial literacy? Good evening. I do agree that two of those songs are too beautiful, but we women should not rely or should not accept that we are just like those songs. We cannot be defined just like from those lyrics. Women are just like men. We are capable of doing incredible things and also we can be financial literate and powerful at all times. And we should always remember that we women should always move forward empowered and also limitless Filipina. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. That was our second finalist, Teresa Pilaga. Let's give another round of applause to our top seven. The competition has ended as we wait for the eagerly anticipated final results to be announced. Let's enjoy performance by a theater actor and recording artist from Luna Circle Studios. He is currently promoting his debut single, 